Back to our discussion here regarding the Old Town and New World Conference, the second annual one. Uh, you mentioned uh, three key principles or three key, I guess, hallmarks of this year's uh, this year's conference. Unemployment, the knowledge-based economy, and the third one, which every time you say it, you smile, punk rock. Yeah, that's right. So the title is Unemployment, Punk Rock, and the Knowledge Economy. And this, before I forget to say it, the date of the conference is October 22nd. And I know we'll get more into the details of the conference, but it's all day. It starts at 9 a.m. It goes all day, and it goes into the evening as well. Um, it's a Friday, October 22nd. But um, so you know, let's talk about this third component, punk rock. And um, you know, that we're looking at approaching unemployment by looking at the knowledge economy and economic gardening uh, in the creative class and bringing them into, into Old Town um, specifically. But this can apply anywhere. And we talked about that to no fault of anyone. A lot of times when we get together and have these meetings about the creative class, the creative class isn't there, right? Well, you know, I grew up starting from about 12 years old. I was in punk bands, and um, I grew up playing punk rock music, and it, it was so wonderful because it was so entrepreneurial in nature. It's do it yourself, DIY, this place is DIY. And we, you know, we booked our own shows, we put out our own records, we wrote our own songs, we practiced every day, we went on little tours, we toured up through the. Uh, up to New York and over to Chicago. We did all this as teenagers, you know. We, we would contact other teenagers that would rent out VFW buildings and we would hold shows. And the whole thing was self-organizing principles. And the punk rock folk aren't looking, in general, the, the, not the genre of music that you hear on the radio or something they call punk rock. That's not what I mean. I mean the DIY spirit that's in punk rock, the birth of punk rock and everything, how it changed the world. It's trying to make a difference. Yeah, they're trying to make a difference. They're trying to put it together themselves and they stay in their own communities and they build scenes in their own communities. And, you know, there's been a punk rock scene in Rock Hill for 30 years. And um, there's a, a scene that's self-organizing in nature and it's about itself. It's not about trying to jettison yourself. So this entrepreneurial in nature is based on your local community. It's, um, it's based on getting together and doing things yourself. And uh, the, the bands pay each other and they sell work and it's, you know, they have their own, everything on handshake and all that kind of stuff. So when you look at the creative class and you look at getting people into Old Town, but you look at other places too. And you're expecting people to come here and gather and get together and create projects like in wonderful little businesses, you know, like a you know, Rev Flow or Social Design House or the space at 157, Body Arts Project or the stuff Deborah and them are doing over at the uh, Getty Center and all, all these kind of self-organizing artists and, um, and businesses. It's very similar to punk rock. Yeah. 